Hello my crafty friends and welcome back to another card making video. Today we are going to have fun with the new Lush Garden kit. This is a new Craft Your Life kit by Alta New. It comes packed with products that match together which makes your life super easy. And let's take a look on what it is included. So first let's take a look at the stamp set. This is the Lush Garden stamp set. It gives you two flowers and you get the outline so you can color it in with your favorite mediums you will also get two leaves and then you also get layers if you want to go ahead and stamp one on top of the other for a quick dimensional look i'm going to show you the inside so you can get a better uh, idea of what uh, the flowers will look like you don't have to subscribe to this kit to get it but you have to move super fast last month it sold out in just a few hours after it was released however keep in mind that if you are a monthly subscriber you will get 14 percent off in the kit you also get the matching dies so two dies for the flowers and two dies for the leaves a stencil is also included that matches the flowers and the leaves so if you don't want to use your coloring mediums if you don't want to use a layering then you can just go ahead and do some quick coloring with a stencil so there is lots of versatility in this kit for different techniques and of course you will also get a 3d embossing folder which is my favorite this is the one that i'm going to showcase today it is going to give you a lovely flower composition but the most fun of this kit is that it comes with another stencil set which matches perfectly the 3D embossing folder. This is the first time I'm using something similar. It's the first time that a stencil matches the 3D embossing. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to work with it, which is going to give an amazing effect. So I'm going to start with embossing my paper. I'm using 80 pounds Nina Solar White cardstock. I'm running it through my die cutting machine. This is the Spellbinders Platinum. And I just use the main platform, the embossing folder with the paper inside, and then one of the cutting plates on top. I do have lots of lights on my craft room, so I'm going to turn one off and hopefully you can see the lovely effect that you get. It's an amazing design which I'm going to bring out by using the stencil on top. There are three stencils in the set and they are numbered at the top. I'm using number one here and I'm going to place it on top of the design and it kind of locks easily where all that embossing is. I'm also going to use some tape to keep it in place. And I will go ahead and apply my color. For most of the flowers I went with that lovely pink. There is a bunch of flowers up there that I'm using yellow for them. I'm using my mini blending tool which allows me to uh, color in different areas without making a mess. And of course you can add even more colors if you want to to the different flowers. I just went quite uh, quickly and easily with just a few colors. So I'm going to remove the first stencil and you can see what I have up to now. Now I'm going to move on to the second stencil. And for this one you can go ahead and use a lighter or a darker color for the pink flowers. I just went with the exact same one. I just didn't apply it as heavily as I did for the first stencil. As I'm applying the color, I'm also taking a look at the coloring guide. There is a guide on how you can use the stencil. Just follow that. It is quite easy. It is going to help you to realize which is a petal and which is a leaf. That's what I am uh, doing here. I'm going uh, quite slow, taking my time, making sure that I don't go over a leaf with yellow or pink. In this second stencil, you need to slide it slightly so you can color in those uh, bunch of flowers at the bottom. Just take a look at the layering stencil, which is super helpful. Now I'm going to switch to the third stencil and this is where most of the greens are. And of course you can go back over the leaves with a darker shade of green to add some shading to make it look more dimensional but remember this image is already dimensional we did use the 3d embossing folder in the beginning the fun with this new monthly kit by alte new is that it comes with matching products which makes your crafting life super easy since you will get the matching dies the stamps the stencils but this 3d embossing folder that matches with a stencil truly is the highlight of the kit for me it's something that I have never seen before and I absolutely love the idea. The result is absolutely amazing. 
I'm going to zoom in for you and hopefully you will be able to see the amazing effect that you get when you combine those two products, the 3D embossing folder and the matching stencil. And of course you can take your time and introduce even more colors for your flowers for a completely different look. Now the image is about 6x6 and I don't want to sacrifice too much to fit it on top of a card. That's why I'm going with one of those big card bases that I had and I have a matching envelope as well. I'm going to sacrifice only a part of the ma main image. I did use silver cardstock on the sides of the design and I also cut out the word hugs. This is a new die from the latest release by Alte New. I'm going to stick it on top. And then to finish it off, I added some silver gems at the center of the tiny flowers and scattered some of those silver gems all around the card. It's a stunning card in real life, all that texture is amazing and I hope these close-up photos give you an idea of how beautiful it looks. So I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired. Thank you all so much for joining me today. Down below you will find links to everything I used and I hope you will all have a lovely day.